UNICEF issued a blank press release today to describe what's happening in Syria because they say there are no words to describe it. Hello, good evening. The UN has described the situation in Syria's eastern Ghouta as hell on earth. But as the world is forced by the sheer level of inhumanity to look up, tonight we try to explain to you what the Assad plan is. That was Mark Urban, and joining me now is Panos Mumsis, the UN's humanitarian coordinator for the Syria crisis, and here in the studio, Dr. Lina Khatib. Um, until that point of evacuation, then, it is presumably impossible for the UN to go in and do its job, is it? A uh, best thing, best way out, then, is for there to be uh, a deal, essentially, gained ground. I mean, y you understand, I guess, aid to his pro-regime areas. I mean, does that work? Lena Khatib now. This, is, uh, this, this shows the cycle, really. Of course the UN is in a position where it wouldn't ever deny anyone that it could humanitarian aid. Does the UN have any political purpose longer term? I mean, you can't imagine saying that, can you, 10 years ago even, but you're saying we want the US right back on the ground and you want the UK and you want the rest. Now, in the UK's highest court, defeat today for the Metropolitan Police and a judgment that could have far-reaching implications for all police and crime victims. The women had argued their treatment by police breached their human rights. I'm joined by the barrister Kirsty Brimlow, QC. Nice to have you. Um, Kirsty Brimlow, in, lay in layman's terms, then, what does this actually do? What does it change? Police don't have accountability to an individual if it's not them actually who are carrying out the crime. More to but do that with... could have sent him to prison, couldn't yes, it? Yes, I mean, th this seems to be more to do with um, issues of disclosure. Kirsty Brimlow, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Egyptians will vote in presidential elections next month. The former army chief, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi... It's not just a case of going back to the bad old days of Hosni Mubarak. Seasoned human rights campaigners will tell you it is worse. Now, in the last hour, some extraordinary footage coming out from the White House. President Trump has been meeting in public, on camera, survivors of last week's shooting as they laid bare their pain and talked of the need to open America's minds to all kinds of solutions to gun crime in schools. Well, once the president had made his opening remarks, it was a chance for those whose pain is still incredibly raw to have their say. Well, we did hear from President Trump at the end of that extraordinary uh, outpouring of thought and of pain, not maybe uh, the only idea that the students had pledged to him, but we'll see if that goes any further in the coming days. Briefly then, for people looking for a sea change, a political sea change now from this Republican president, is your sense that it's going to come. Biggest and best known international photography awards, the Sonys are about to announce who's on the coveted shortlist this year. Here's a sneak peek of some of the top contenders from all of us here. Good night.